Hello friends, my name is Jennifer Samson and I'm going to be teaching you about the adding of two 8-bit numbers using 8085 not by using normal registers over here but by taking the values directly from the memory location allotted. You may be aware that there are 2 power 16 combinations of memory locations available in 8085 that is coming to 65,536 locations and those memory locations can be seen by this particular combination 0000, 0, 0, 0 up to FFFF up to here. There are 2 power 16 combinations of memory locations available. You can use any of these memory locations to make sure that you are getting your particular data. Okay. So your data according to my program is now available to be available at 2500. So what I'm going to be doing is 2500 is my memory location and in 2500 and 2501 two 8-bit numbers are going to be put inside and I'm going to add these two numbers first with the value without carry I'm going to put it without carry over here so I'm going to give an input p plus 0 1 0 1 over here and you may be aware that fe plus 0 1 is ff so no carry is going to be generated and my next input and um, uh, my second uh, uh, example that I'll be giving is ff plus 0 1 so ff plus 0 1 is nothing but some 0 0 and a carry 1 so ff plus 0 1 is 1 0 0 so carry 1 some 0 0 carry 1 some 0 0 so first we'll be doing it without the carry and check what is happening over here so 2500 has the value of fe 2501 has the value of 0 1 so now what we are going to do is we are going to add these two numbers so for that we'll be running this program and we want to check it line by line so what is lxi load immediate x means 16 bit so please remember anywhere you see x in a particular program of 8085 means it is representing a 16 bit so load immediate h comma 2500 which means that 25 is going to be sitting into h register and l is going to be sitting into l register x i told you h means h and l combined together so 2500 is going to be sitting into this particular memory location over here so 2500 whatever value is in hl that is pointing to memory location over here so for that particular memory location whatever data is available will be available in the m register okay so our location at to hl is 2500 at 2500 the value that is available is fe so this fe is now available in m so move a comma m what is move a comma m going to do it is going to move the value of fe into a register so a register initially is 0 0 this fe is going to be moved into a register so that fe is now moved to a register over here okay so what is my next step i need to get my second input where is my second input available my second input available is available in the location 2501 so i just need to increment h value what is the difference between inrh and inxh inrh means the value will become 2600 h value will alone be incremented by one that is what i mean by inrh so 2600 what do i actually need 2501 so which means that the l value has to be incremented by one Either I can give INRL or I can give INXH. INX X 16 bit H and L combined together. H and L combined together incremented by 1. 2500 plus 1 is 2501. So what is going to happen? 2501 is going to be available over here. So 2501. What is my M value now in 2501? M register will have the value 01. So what I'm going to do is add the value of FE directly with this particular value 01. That is why I give add M add m means add a with m and store the value back in a so a is nothing but fe m is nothing but the value of 0 1 adding these two values i'll be getting fe plus 0 1 which is ff and where is that ff going to be sitting at the accumulator so you can see that over here ff this has not moved to the output yet to move it to the output what you have to do you have to move this accumulator value to the output over here so before that i need to point to the memory location 2502 so again i give increment h increment h means 2501 is going to become 2502 so now it is pointing to this memory location i'm going to do the ultra process over here move m comma a which means that a value ff is going to be moved to the m register over here so a value which is nothing but my ff is going to be moved to this particular memory location of 2502 so you can check that 2502 which is 00 is now going to be replaced by ff so this is my ff did you get a carry over here? 
you did not get a carry and that is the uh, proof over here no carry was being generated but still this program will make sure that the carry of 00, zero is moved to the output over here so for that what am i going to do move immediate a comma zero zero so first i'm going to initialize the accumulator value with zero zero so mvi a comma zero zero move immediate zero zero value into the a register so ff is going to be replaced by zero zero add carry a what is the difference between adda and adca add adda means you're just going to add the value of a register with another a register value what do you mean by adca the carry flag value is added with the accumulator value and stored back in the accumulator that is with carry that is adca so what is my carry value zero what is my a value zero what is the output of this particular uh, uh, instruction zero so i'm going to get a zero zero here now what am i going to do i'm going to increment this particular hl register pair by one so that i can store it in my output over here what is my location 2503 so add it over here so 2502 plus 1 is 2503 and that is what is happening 2503 now this a value which is 0 some sorry carry 0 is moved to this particular memory location 2503 so there will be no change over here you will be getting the same 00, zero value over here okay so as i told you with carry an example a simple example what is going to happen is i'm just going to replace this fp by ff so ff plus 0 1 is 100 zero zero. so 100 zero zero. carry 1 some 00, zero. so this is what i'm going to be proving over here so when we run this program what is going to happen hl had the value 2503 i'm going to start from the beginning so hl is going to be replaced by 2500 so 2500 and what is in 2500 now ff so ff value is going to be moved to where a register so it is being moved over here what is my next step increment h to get my second input 2500 is going to be replaced by 2501 so 2501 has the value now 01 over here so this 01 is in m adding the 01 plus ff i'll be getting a sum of 00, zero. so adding this i'll be getting a sum of 00, zero and my carry is being generated and it is ticked over here so this is what you check so it is being enabled over here so i have a carry now what is my next step i have to move my sum value to the output first then i will move my carry so what is my next step output is 2502 so increment this again so what am i going to do 2502 move the accumulator value of 00, zero to this memory location 2502 so ff is going to be replaced by 00, zero. so it is now replaced by 00, zero, which is my sum now i have to take care of my carry part now i'm going to replace this a register by 00, zero according to my instruction no change over there 00, zero. Now add with carry. This is the difference I told you earlier with carry. Now carry, this is 1 plus 0, 0. 1 plus 0, 0 is nothing but 1. So this accumulator value is going to be replaced by 1, which is nothing but my carry. Okay. So what am I going to do? I have to move it to the memory location 2503. So 2502 plus 1 is nothing but 2503, my carry. Now what is it going to move? My accumulator value of 0, 01 is moved to this mem memory location over here 2503. So this 00, 00 is now going to be replaced by 0, 01 over here. And that is what you see. So this is a simple program where in which I was just using the memory locations and from that I was able to add it directly. And from that I put the output back over here with the sum and carry in the adjacent memory locations. So this is a uh, type of program where I can save the usage of my internal registers. I could use it for some other purpose where I add these particular memory locations for some other purpose. B can be used for some other purpose in another program, C or D or some other application. So this is where I'll be using the direct implementation of adding or subtracting any two numbers directly using memory locations and not by internal registers. I hope you understood this particular concept. Thank you.